Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something really exciting. As you already could see behind me, we're shooting some green screen work and we're gonna use this to shoot a tea commercial. And the good thing about a green screen is you can change the background to anything you want. When you're gonna use this technique to create something cool that looks like this. So this is the first setup of the video and we're doing some green screen work here as you can see in the back. Um, we have this giant green screen, uh, it's from Newer, it's a like, giant cloth green screen that I really like. And just shooting on the Blackmagic Pro and the reason why I like to shoot on the Blackmagic Pro is that it has false color already built in to the camera which is really useful for lighting up the green screen because you want to have an evenly lit screen to make the key really easy. And just having the T on the rotating Lazy Susan here, which is going right now. And the reason I put it on a glass is um, when the T is sitting on the Lazy Susan, it just is uh, harder to mask out. I just wanted to have it sitting on the glass because it's easier to mask out uh, in post-production. And yeah, I'm just lighting the green screen with these two Nanlite power tubes on this side. And then I'm choosing the, using the Forza 60, uh, um, which I'm diffusing a little bit with this uh, diffuser uh, shining onto the green screen as well. And I'm just blocking off the light with this box because it's a little too harsh and there's, it creates a shadow on the T. So I, that's why I'm using this uh, box to block off the light here. And then the T I'm lighting with this uh, Compact 40 from Nanlite, just ha I'm holding it like this above and it just lights a little bit up the green screen as well, uh, as well as the the product from above which is really nice for like good packaging it just looks nice from when it's looks from the top yeah and that's basically it i'm doing that for every uh, flavor i have i have like four flavors and i'm in post i will put different color backgrounds in on there and because it's electronic um, lazy susan i can also match the rotation from one shot to another which will be a, a cool transition so yeah this is a cool technique i like to use for like different green screen work uh yeah and this is the opening shot and i think it looks really great so 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 now because the packaging of the one tea flavor is green i had to switch up the background and the uh, the reason i like that newer uh reflector is that in one side it's green and the one side is blue so it would perfectly go with the green color because you can't key out the green when the when the tea uh, packaging is also green so this is a nice uh, benefit of that reflector that has two colors. So next I'm shooting the glass and this is really tricky because you can't green screen it because um, it's see-through and I get all the reflections of the of the green on the glass and when I take it off because it's see-through uh, the glass is gonna take away so it's really tricky to pull off so you can't really green screen uh, translucent stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the green background still there and because the background on the computer in the final video is gonna be green as well, I'm putting the same color in the background and then I have to mask around and match the colors as um, good as possible and probably some serious masking around it. And because the background is green here already and the background's gonna be green in the final video, you don't have to be super precise and the masking and the adjusting is way easier because you can't green screen translucent stuff. Uh, that's why you always want to keep in mind what the color of your final video, the background looks like and you want to put the same color in the background so it's way easier for you because otherwise if you want to key that out it's, it's just not possible. And for lighting I just used uh, the Pavo tubes in the back to light up the edges of the glass and then I have a small Pavo tube just right underneath the glass and uh, the glass is on the Lazy Susan, the electronic one and I'm just gonna let it rotate because I wanted to let it spin into the frame and then just the camera sitting on a tripod and with this light, the Compact 40, I'm gonna light up the green screen a little bit and the top of the strainer here to give it a little bit more pop and this Forza 60 is also gonna light up the green screen because you wanna have the green screen uh, at a decent level as well because you don't want to adjust the brightness too much um, because otherwise it would be too hard to match with the background in the final video. 
Yeah, that's it. It was a pretty, pretty um, complicated shot, but um, I have to probably do some serious masking on in post, but it works. I already tried it out and yeah, I'm excited that it, it finally worked. I figured it out. So as you could see, I switched out the background to a white background because when the tea was falling, it was happening too quick and you can't really key it out. So you can't really green screen it out. So what I did is I put a high contrast scenario because the tea is pretty dark because it's a dark green. And I wanted to get a white background because it's a high contrast to the, the color of the tea. And then in post, I can lighten it up. So there's some blending options and you can change it up. And then that's way easier than to green screen it because you get that uh, like pixely out of the way. So it, you can, it doesn't really work. Um, but this really works well uh, because it's a high contrast. It can easily recognize um, the difference in contrast and yeah, it works really well. So in the next shot, I poured in the hot water from above uh, to brew the tea and the glass is filling up with water. So I also wanted to create an overlayer like the steam coming off of the hot tea and kind of an alpha layer you can put up on anywhere, any footage, and it's just the fog, nothing else. And how I did this is I just rigged up my camera here on that tripod, and I have the glass here I wanna pour in the hot water. And I have a really bright light source in the back, which is the Forza 60, and it's just not diffused, and just gonna hit a hard light from behind. And then I'm just gonna pour in the hot water and the steam is coming up here and I have the black background here in the back and you want to have a high contrast scenario so the black background and this white steam is creating a high contrast environment and then in post I can just lighten it when you go to blend modes you can lighten it and it will just bring up the the light parts of like the bright parts of the footage and to further enhance this I got the hot water here and I'm just going to open up the window behind me to let in the cold air it's pretty cold outside uh, to further enhance the steam coming off because the more steam the more white it gets the better you can lighten it in post-production and yeah that's basically it you can do that or you can also go to like story blocks like a stock footage website and just get an alpha layer it's way easier but if you don't have access to one you can just do it yourself and then uh, i have the cold brew i have it um, coming in from the side and kick away uh, the hot tea as well and I put in these fake ice cubes um, I mean they're not the best because they don't float but it does the job and then I'm spraying uh, the glass here uh, with uh, this spray bottle and I'm also like turning it that you don't see the handle so you have also different uh, shaped glass kind of and then I'm just pushing this from one side to another like this, that you get a little bit of movement uh, in the glass. Uh, otherwise it would be just look so static and uh, it just gets a little bit more interesting when there's stuff moving and uh, it actually looks like a video. So that's it. Thanks so much for sticking around until the end of the video. I hope you learned something today. A free and easy way to support the channel is hit that like button. And if you like my content, you might consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, shoot me a message on Instagram at Sepik Cinema and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.